Hello, Identity 5 Gamers. Today we're going to continue with the Forest Tillage event, and we're going to check out some Koa matches uh, from the Chinese uh, Hong Kong etc. division. Pretty excited to check out some matches that aren't just uh, JP. I've been doing a lot of those on stream. But before we start that, this is the new Essence poster for the new Essence that Ivy is obviously going to be the S tier from. Uh, looks pretty cool, honestly. We have Ivy obviously as the S tier, um, Aesop and Bomber chilling there, kind of like with like a some sort of shark. Uh, ponytail or something, like some fin ears or something, I don't really know. And we, we've got uh, Aeroplanist Charles over here as well, finally getting uh, an Essence skin. I, lo I absolutely love the little slippers, I'm not really sure what the theme is exactly supposed to be. Uh, it does look pretty cool though, um, has a somewhat aquatic theme to it. Uh, we see like the little ivy spirit thing, soul whatever thing, off to the left or, or, or to the right as well. It, it looks pretty cool. I, I do kind of like this essence. It, it looks pretty interesting. And uh, I think for characters that I want, obviously like Ivy the S tier. Like if we get Ivy the S tier, if we're lucky enough, that's cool because then we get to play as Ivy early. Um, but I think I want Charles from this one. Even though I don't have Charles yet, I think I think I want Charles from this one. If I'm gonna get any of the skins here, uh, I probably want Charles the most because he looks pretty cool and I want to play him and I don't have him yet. But once I have that skin, I'll have some drip for Charles, which I would love to have. Alrighty, here we are. Let's do our in check in first. This is day four. Although I think we're still technically we're. We're a day ahead with the check-ins, but everything else is like day three. Uh, the mission of a perfumer is to preserve people's memories with scents. In that case, can scents make people forget about troubling memories? I don't know. I don't know anything about perfumes. <laughs> okay, let's get our little jar here as long uh, with the friendship letter thing. Yep. Yay, the storage jar. Yippee. When do I get the freaking water droplets? Where, where's that all about? Oh, here we go. Let me, let me get the little thing from uh, Victor here. You must have a storage jar to store in the ingredients bra. I do. I have one. Yep. Here we go. Take the jar. Even if I'm going to leave someday, I'll still remember this scent. It smells like a jar. The scent of the cedar stuck on my uniform during the numerous early mornings when Wick and I went through the forest with the mail. Oh, that actually smells nice. I like the smell of cedar. Here we go. Boom. Two things got. Yippee. Aw, so like they all stay here. So we're about to have like a whole like group of everybody at the ending. Is that is that what I'm seeing? That's that's kind of cool. All right, let me grab the, uh, the little friendship thingies here, friendship pens. Cool. And then that's done with mercenaries. We get the uh, little thing here. All right, let's let's see what's up with all Merc. What what you got there? Is that a flute? No way. Where's my flute? Yo, peep this mercenary. <gasps> all right, how's it going, buddy? Hmm, that's odd. May I offer you some fruit punch? Oh, it's you. You're the, tra <laughs> You're the traveler from out of town. It's been a while. It's been three years. Did you have a smooth journey? I don't suppose it can be called a journey. Uh, I was just wandering around. But this place, this inn, and that tree, everything looks different. It's a long story. The surrounding area is getting worse by the day. My shop will soon be out of business. However, if you're here for the Ashen Day, then I'll definitely offer you a drink, a fruit punch in the middle of the woods. I am indeed here for the Ashen Day, but it looks like the tree with the flowers is gone. Just like what I've seen on my way here. You, uh, you seem to have experienced something unique. Guarded, who are you? <laughs> Yo, he's the mercenary, bro. I'm Vera, an ordinary perfumer. I want to collect everyone's stories about trees and uh, to create a plant-themed perfume. Stories about trees? Mm, let me think. On your travels over the years, have you come across anything interesting about certain trees or plants? I don't think so, no. I don't think there was anything interesting. I, there was this, like, really weird plant that was, like, shaped like a human, and it was really creepy. It was like a corpse. It was, it was really weird. Uh, during my travels, as I stopped and looked back every once in a while, I realized the villages and forests I've passed by were gone. I then thought about this inn and wondered if my friends and the ash tree would, uh, would offer me a place to stay. I didn't think that even this place got so quiet. What about your home? After Ashen Day three years ago, did you go home to check it out? I didn't have the courage. I was afraid that everything would be gone if I went back. What? Well, you gotta check eventually, what? Humans still rely on nature to live, yet they ruin it. I don't want to have to say goodbye unexpectedly. How did the ash tree next to the inn die? There was a rainstorm at night a few months ago. 
A stroke of lightning hit here, or hit her remaining trunk. It felt like the rain was saying goodbye. If only it could have lasted for one more ashen day. Perhaps it was a kind, uh, perhaps a kind of release for her. I would like to have a glass of fruit punch, please. <laughs> it's really difficult. It's just the fruit punch, bro. <laughs> it's really difficult to find clean water around here, so we drink fruit punch instead. But no problem. You want Hawaiian fruit punch? <laughs> it's getting windy. After the tree is gone, there's always a strange wind blowing in this area. I see. Oh, yeah. No, no trees here, I guess. Plant scent. This reminds me of flowing water. There won't be any green life without water. Let's just pour fruit punch on it. That's a good idea. Where do you think is more suitable for plants? Let's see. Shallows with rich vegetation that you've been to before. A mysterious waterfall that you've never been to before. Now, let's go to the new places. We gotta explore, buddy. Ingredients for a perfume. Hmm, that depends on which of my memories move you the most. Gathering around the big tree and enjoying the company of family and friends. Napping while leaning against a big tree, listening to the wind blowing over the leaves. Anti-social! <laughs> Got it. I'll set off now. Alright. See you in four hours, buddy. Now, everybody, let's check out those Koa matches. Here we go. On to round one. First half. Oh my gosh. They're picking Axeboy. They're actually picking Axeboy round one. I haven't seen any Axeboy yet in Japan. Hold on. They could have picked Opera. This is an opera comp. We have Mercenary, Patient, Cheerleader, and Gardener. Banzer, Priestess, Melly, Dancer, and somebody else. I didn't get to look. They're picking Axe Boy round one. Axe Boy, bro. I am ready for this, dude. I am ready. Always serious versus... I didn't get to look at the other one that goes by so fast. Axe Boy round one, though. No opera. No opera at all. This person must be like an Axe Boy main or something, which I absolutely love to see because I, I love watching some Axe Boy. I, I always say that Axe Boy, in my opinion... Oh, nice, nice. Can we, can we see a flare? The flare breaks the bubble. Okay, good work from the Axe Boy immediately. But I always say that Axe Boy is fun to play, he's fun to watch, and he's fun to go against. I, I love this character. I absolutely love this character. Uh, I believe this skin is called Whale, if I remember correctly. I, I'm not 100% sure. But we do see that uh, the Gardener, who is taking the chase here, has Borrow Time and Knee Jerk Reflex. Same on the Patient, uh, using the Flare for the Speed Boost, didn't get the hit. Uh, Cheerleader has Flywheel, and Mercenary has Tide. So only one um, only one Tide Turner is definitely interesting, because usually, when it comes to Opera Singer, we usually like seeing two sets of Tide on the team to stall out as much as possible. Um, but right now, Gardener has kind of just been loose, looping this Shack with the rocking the... Uh, is that the Ghost Girl skin? Good avoidance from the uh, the Flare, but she does take the basic hit, which is honestly what you want to take. If you're going to take any hit from an Axe Boy, do not take a Flare hit. Take a basic hit to force attack recovery, um, especially if you're at full health, because if you get Flared into basic attack, you're just going to go down immediately. Uh, so now we kind of just play around here. Axe Boy is mostly going to try to use Blink to uh, to get the down here. Yep, sets up a tree. Going to use the Knee Jerk Reflex to transition. This has been a good kite so far. We see the Flare. Oh, oh, that's unfortunate. I know what he wanted there. He wanted the flare hit to break the bubble. Blink. And there we go. Good work. Good work. Okay. That was a pretty solid kite, though. That was a three cipher kite. XY is a pretty good, uh, pretty good tie hunter, though. He's actually opting to chair away from this, uh, from this chair, which I honestly agree with because, um, th those are some, uh, that's an annoying area to, uh, to chase you around. There's a lot of mind games that you can use. Uh, who the heck is coming in here? Oh, the patient. Okay. Patient, they're not using up their tide first. Interesting. Okay. Buying some time. He has to not get hit by a flare because a flare could cancel his hook. Let's see. They've got plenty of time. He's got time. Oh, he's coming. That's kind of early. I can't even lie. That's a little bit early. We see a flare. It hits the chair. It doesn't hit It doesn't hit Garner. It, it, it hits the chair. Okay. Boop. They got sweet. Uh, no, the three ciphers are done now. That was a, a slightly... Oh. Oh, lost the mind game. Lost the mind game. Okay, that's good though. That that actually must be picking up a bit on her habits. That's good. Um, all right, let's see here. Yeah, sets up the Russell Road first, and then now we're gonna chair. Where are we chairing here? Is there a chair? Is there a chair behind Shack? There is. Okay, it, it just wasn't highlighted in red. Here we go. I don't know why some chairs aren't highlighted. But yeah, that chairing on a cipher is good. You can force them off this cipher here. There is a tree here as well. Russell Road. The pallet is gone. Break off a branch. Beautiful. Flare? Gets the Flare on the Magician! No, that's Mercenary. I'm sorry. I thought that was Magician for some reason. My goodness, dude. I, I, I don't, there's not even a Magician on the team. <laughs> oh, he elbow pads in. Do we just hit the Mercenary? Or we're going to try and farm Gardener? It's probably best to just hit the Merc. Oh, wait. Never mind. Never mind. This is why I'm not a pro, bro. Because you can get the Flare to prevent the body block. And that's still a double down. 
All right, he can tie this easily. He can tie this easily. Uh, it's just weird that they're just not playing Opera Singer though. Like obviously Gunner dies in a corner. All the way over here, he uses the flare for the speed boost and sets up the Russell Road. Yep, this is good. This is all good stuff. This is like the Axe Boy tech that you gotta know. Using the flare, it makes sense there because by the time the flare recharges, um, he's gonna be back on a target. And Mercenary is actually getting healed up here so he can't get the free chair. Axe Boy, I don't think Axe Boy can make it in time, unfortunately. Yeah, he cannot make that in time. Nope. Even even with a restful road, he can't make that. Okay, gonna break off a branch here. Beautiful. The ciphers are both pretty far along though, but one of them is the shack. So we see restful road, but he needs to find a target. They're gonna just opt to rotate heal, and he does have tinnitus now. He know he has tinnitus. He should have a good idea of where they are. He's going back up for some reason. No, they're down there. Oh, if he flares them right here, that'd be crazy. Oh, there's no flares. Yeah, there's no flares. Wait, they're just right there. Yo, what? why bother? Why bother? You just gave him two hits. They really wanted that heal for nothing, huh? My goodness. All right, does he blink here? No. He, he wants to blink to secure the hit. He can get a... Wait, hold on. He can actually get a 3k here. Flare is up. Flare is up. We got speed, but she beep beeps. Oh, uh, no, you heard the beep beep. You knew she would be in, in your range. Not at all. There's a second beep beep. Okay. Come on, cheerleader, what are we gonna see here? Blink, blink, surely. There's the blink, yep, there is the blink. She had flywheel, she could have flywheeled that and then vaulted, but um, good work. And Merc, Merc does uh, does still have his self heal intact, but he's taking a lot of hits though, so he's gonna take forever to heal by himself. And yeah, there, there's a chair, yeah, okay, he did, he did actually heal, he did heal, but no self heal used on mercenary, and I think he knows that because he knows that a cypher is probably being worked on. Um, so if he downs Mercenary, which he's trying to find him, he can literally just leave Mercenary on the ground and go after the person on the Cypher. He has to find... I, I think it's best if he's... No, he's playing it safe. No, I, if I'm if I'm this if I'm this Axe Boy, I just patrol around. I patrol around, find the Mercenary. Come on, please find him, please find him. Oh, he's gonna elbow pad. No, he elbow pads it. No! Alright, hold on, wait. If he flare snipes and then gets the hit. That's what ha... Hold on, he has to flare snipe. No! He gets the flare snipe! The flywheel! And he's body blocking. He's body blocking. He's body blocking. He has a little bit of time to body block. Oh, that's so unfortunate. They might be able to get the cypher now. Okay. He has to get the cheerleader down, but she has a beep beep. And she has Shaq. Oh, this is rough. Oh, so close. So close. He was right there. He's going to go back for mercenary. Yeah, go back for mercenary. Just get him on the chair. He has no self heal. But get, get him on the chair. Get him on the chair. There you go. Get him on the chair. At least put somebody on the chair. Force somebody to come in. Oh, if he got that cheerleader, that was 3k. This is looking like a tie now. It's looking like a tie. Let's see. No, why don't? Why are you chasing the cheerleader? Hit mercenary. Hit mercenary. He has no self-heal. What are you doing? Oh, he hasn't popped yet. I thought they popped. So what are we waiting for? Is he going to try and flare snipe? Oh, wait. Hold on. All the power here is in the hands of Axe Boy. Cheerleader is like getting her beep beeps back and her flywheel back. She uses a beep beep there. But he, he, the thing is, his trait is coming back. No, actually, has all the time in the world. Cheerleader loses this. Oh, they, no, they pop right there. Yep, they want to they put him in an animation. They wanted to put him in an animation. Okay. That's fine, though. That's fine. A Axe Boy. I feel like he should have gone after Mercenary, though, because Mercenary has no self heal and has no elbow pads. Cheerleader is a worse. Oh, Cheerleader is a worse target. And they're both on gate. See, that's the bad thing. That's the one bad thing about waiting. Oh, it's a tie, man. It's a tie. The one bad thing about waiting for something like that is you can get people posted up on a gate. I don't know. I would I would have rather gone after a mercenary, get the mercenary down. He has no self heal, then you go kill somebody else. Because then you'd force somebody to come to the mercenary, and that's just a tie. Yep, there's the blink. Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay, Axe Boy definitely could have pushed for more, but he got the tie. Tie, tie from the Axe Boy. Good work. Good work. On to round one, second half. We see Magician, Aeroplanist, Psychologist, Patient going up against a Dream Witch. No Operas in round one. Interesting. Very interesting. Antiquarian, Batter, Seer, Mercenary, Ban. Okay, pretty standard stuff. Batter is an interesting ban. I feel like they'd rather, rather ban like Embalmer here or something, but okay. Interesting spawns. Probably will chase... I actually don't know who you chase here. Probably the Psychologist. Probably the psychologist. Here we go. It is time. Always serious versus Aku Dog. That's the other team's name. Okay. So let's see. Dream Much obviously is running the standard patroller detention trump card build. Uh, most likely gonna swap to Blink, rocking the Tomie skin. People love seeing the Tomie skin. Um, gonna be opting to chase the patient first, actually. Okay. Everybody here has knee jerk and borrow time except for the aeroplanist who has tide turner. So this is very, very uh, pretty standard stuff here. Ooh. 
Okay, very good pallet stun, very good pallet stun there. Um, Dream Witch build, oh, kind of, okay, kind of interesting. Kinda interesting. She, has, she has Hunt, she has um, other things. <laughs> oh, there's a patroller. Okay, haven't, haven't used main body patroller. This is follower patroller? I'm not sure. There we go. Okay, patroller on the patient. The ciphers are climbing, though, and that's a leech hit. That's a leech hit. Okay, if nothing else, it's a leech hit, so that's good for the patient. Um, but we might see main body patrol. Oh. Oh, very good. Very good vault. Very good vault, yeah. See, patient patient can vault up that. He can't vault directly into the, like, the, the two-story part, but he can vault up into the... Oh, he's getting healed by the psychologist. I just realized we have patient psychologist in this. Oh, my gosh. Oh, but the patroller canceled it. Oh, the patroller can't... Oh, dang. Oh, dang. Wait. Oh, bro. Dang, that was really good. The The main body canceled the, the psychologist whistle, and then it canceled the hook. I didn't know it canceled mid-hook. He was in the air. I thought hook would cancel patroller, not the other way around. Oh, my goodness. What the heck, dude? Zero escape with this AI prediction. Zero escape here. Yeah, that actually makes sense. Pretty good chance for a zero escape here. Um, well, I say that. Yeah, I mean... No, there, there's Ty, there's the Cyphers, but it's also Dream Much who snowballs. But I feel like that was pretty good. Even though it was like technically a 3-Cypher Kite, I feel like things kind of went well. Maybe it's just more of a good play as opposed to like directly being good. Okay. Um, now, let's see here. The la Yeah, 3 stars on the la last one being worked on. No, this is more like a Ty, actually. Because now you're going to set up a leech onto the uh, aeroplane this year. Yep. Oh, setting the leech up over there? Is that right? Well, two leeches on the field. That's that's some good map presence. No witch marks have been gotten yet. So once once they're not, they're, they can't de-leech right now. They can't de-leech because they don't have witch marks. Uh, patient is going to be put into this chair. Um, yeah, the thing is they're working on ciphers though. They're still working on ciphers. Um, yeah, this, this is where the dream witch starts snowballing. If she can start snowballing from this, she's in a really good position. Thing is, they still have a good amount of resource. I mean, the patient doesn't. They're probably going to sell the patient. Um... Yeah, they're they're okay. They're they're gonna they're just gonna opt to de leech. Aeroplanus looks to be the next target here. They cannot rescue the patient safely. Uh, Aeroplanus is pincered. Wait. Oh, he did he what? What happened? Oh, he used a jetpack. Okay. I was like, how the heck did he not get hit there? Is a jetpack. Okay, good jetpack. We see main body patroller. Nyang, 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 nyang. It's Jerry time. Jerry bites. Jerry bites. Last two cyphers are still being worked on though. She has to pressure down a cipher like right now. Okay, it looks like she's going to pressure a cipher. Yeah, I say she has to pressure a cipher like right now while also getting Aeroplanus down. And that should be death. Boom. Down we go. Okay, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, there we go. Set up another leech. Good work, good work. Okay. She can 3k this, I think, at best. She can 3k this at best. Let's see. Psychologist still has her stress, though. That's the big thing. Um, it's obviously not going to matter with detention, but the cypher's primed. It's primed. She couldn't She couldn't force them off the cyphers. She had no... <laughs> the magician just emote? Uh, she had no cypher pressure, like, at all. He's literally emoting. He's doing the agree emo. Oh, that's funny. That is funny. Okay. She hits. They get the rescue. The stress is going to be gone. Opting to chase the psychologist, actually. Oh. Huh. Uh, why don't they... Okay, they're going to wait for... Okay, she wants to set up a leech here. There's leech. Um. I, I Again, I think the dream witch is still in the better position here. Because now she has a leech on magician. You don't have normal. You could have... No, you don't have normal here. If you have normal, the magician just kills you. Okay. Well, now she's got a little bit of map presence here, but I think Aeropl yeah, Aeroplanus' leech is almost gone, though. His leech is almost gone. While setting up the leech on to the uh, magician, she lost the um, Aeroplanus leech. So if that's the case. She, this, is the, this is just a draw. She needs to draw this. You have to get this magician down. The thing is, he has still three resources. There is a chance magician kites this. Oh, never mind. Patroller. No, nope, not with Patroller. Dang, she didn't even get to use trade swap. Yep, there's Jerry. Jerry's biting at your ankles. That's it. That is indeed it. Yep. Oh. He's trying to cancel patroller bites, but we hear patroller. Okay. Yep, that's it. That's it. Okay. That is a draw. Alright, so round one draws only. Draw for Axe Boy, draw for Dream Winch. Interesting, I must say. No round one operas. I'll take it, dude. Alright, set's all tied up. Round two. We got Opera Ben, which we love to see. Prospector Psychologist, um, Aeroplanist, and Mike Gaming. And let's see here, Magician, uh, Patient are the global bans. We also ban Batter, Anti, Seer, and Merc. 
And we're on hospital. Okay. Gotcha. Let's see here. No, no, no leads for any of the uh, the teams yet. Who is the hunter though? It's Clerk. I haven't seen Clerk and Koa yet. Oh my gosh. Clerk Gaming, it's time. I'm a little worried about the processor because Clerk is weak to harassment, but we got some Keegan Gaming. I am ready for the Clerk. Here we go. All right, gonna be ro rocking with uh, Blink, Trump Card Detention, standard stuff on the Clerk. Uh, Mike has a Borrow Time Flywheel, as well, uh, same with Prospector, and we've got Nidra Reflex on Psychologist and Tide on Aeroplanist. Okay, pretty standard stuff, dude. Seeing a lot of this solo Aeroplanist uh, Tide is pretty interesting, I must say. Let's see here. Gonna chase the... Who is this? Is that Joker? Is that Joker Persona 5 Acrobat? I think it is. I don't know about Acrobat First Chase. Um... I feel like it's probably better to chase the psychologist because the thing is you can usually get like window recordings and whatnot But acrobat can just jump through windows and pallets. So I feel like it's it's pretty bad to uh, chase the acrobat here first uh, She can go around that. That's actually a good spot for a bomb in between those trees. That's a really good spot and Did actually actually not opting to oh, there's the record, but she got the recording Yep, pulls it back up and oh misses the hit. Oh The flywheel Okay, a bomb is ready. Oh Gets the hit there gets the hit. Okay that probably, I, I, I honestly, I think I would have liked to see him use a bomb there. Um, oh, they, they, she, oh, she knows that Charles is by the by the pallet now. Yeah, because where, where else would he be? All right. She can blink down. She can blink down. But she has to not get memed on by the ball. She just blinks. Yep, she just blinks. She just blinks. She just blinks. Yep. And now she can share on the, uh, the cypher. And the cypher, oh, it's basement. It's basement, too. Uh-oh. I mean, obviously, Aeroplanets is already here. Okay, she just puts them down immediately, yep. Wants to focus on locking off those ciphers. Yep, lock off, lock off, beautiful. Beautiful stuff, beautiful stuff with the clerk. Uh, break the pallet, please. Please break the pallet. Please break the pallet. Come on, break the pallet. Oh, uh, is she saving it for a pallet break recording? No, nah, break the pallet. You're gonna, you're gonna regret it because they can get out of... What the? They're all here. What, they have so many people here. Prospector? Break the pallet! Break the pallet, please. Please break the pallet. Oh. So that's what it was for. Oh. Okay. Uh, well, now you just let Mike get out of basement. Aeroplane stays down there. Yep. Okay. That actually was not great. And now the thing is, she doesn't have the pallet anymore. She can't lock the, she locked the pallet off, but she can't make it go up anymore. Um, never mind. There it is. She got one back. She got one back. Boop. Cancel the tag recovery. Yo, prospectors. Come on. I keep seeing prospectors do this. Oh. Oh. Beautiful. Beautiful. That is Clerk Gaming at its finest. That is Clerk Gaming at its finest. Oh my god, that's the kind of stuff that I can't do yet because my Clerk isn't at that level. Is she dragging to basement? I think I think, uh, I think Charles is getting healed by the psychologist. Yep, the whistle has the whistle has gone off. Where's my whistle? Where's my freaking whistle? Here we go. That's me when I play psychologist, bro. <laughs> okay. Uh, things aren't looking uh, too bad for the Clerk. She did for she did have to get a new target though. Which is unfortunate. Aeroplanist can rescue again. He used uh, the hover. There's the hover. Okay. Resources have been used. All right. Let's see here. The ciphers are climbing. She's she's got it. She can she can draw this 100. There is no more tide though. She got the farm. She got the farm. That's good. Lock off ciphers. Oh, did you? That was beautiful. That was beautiful. Did you see that reaction, dude? That was really good reaction. Yeah, when it's something like that, you gotta know if you're because the thing is, if you're on the cipher, you can get locked off. But if you get off the cipher before she puts a page on you, you actually can keep on decoding it, which is really good. So it's like it's like having that really fast reaction, but you have to react fast because a good clerk will be able to get it very quickly. Um, the one bad thing about not hitting Charles earlier though is um, is now he's at full health to get the rescue again. I thought she was gonna get that hit. Okay, locked off the cipher. Good, good. Blinks to avoid the freaking mana. Okay. Uh, are we going to see immediate trade swap, though? We are not. Okay. I mean, that's honestly fine because Clerk can, Clerk can extend this game. She can 100% extend this game longer. We're going to opt to put Prospector back in here. He's dead. He is dead. And the 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 map pressure is pretty good right now. Um, nobody's on a Cypher. They're going to have to start healing. They still have a decent amount of resources, though. Acrobat... Oh, but she knows you're kind of close. But oh, she sees you. She sees trail. She found both of the injured people. This is bad. Now they have to split up. Obviously, you chase. Well, I say you chase Acrobat, but now he's in ruins. But as long as you have good enough recordings, you should be fine. Oh, red light, red light. Let's see. 
Good bomb, okay. Does he have any more bombs? I think he's out, I think he's out of bombs. Pallet goes back up, he has flywheel. She baits it with the charge attack, beautiful. Oh my gosh, beautiful bait from the clerk. Oh, I don't think that was lock off. Dude, this psychologist? Oh no, it did get locked off, Never mind. Okay, she's, she's leaving, she's leaving, okay, it did. I was about to say, that psychologist has insane reaction time. Very good, boom, yep, locked off, locked off. See how fast that is, dude? That's what I mean, if you, because the thing is you can see the little, he's emoting up there. <laughs> but you can see when Clerk does it. No way. Does she? Does she? Perfect the rescue here? Wait, this is 4K. Psych can't get there in time. She locks off the Cypher again. They don't have Cypher. You can't shot that pallet because it's a Clerk. She has no recordings though. A pallet stun was the only way. The pallet stun, a pallet stun was the only way. That, that's 4k, that's 4k. Now we just see Clerk slug it out. Boobs, lock it off, yep. Now we just see Clerk slug it out. And Psych is gonna take a little bit longer to heal because she used the whistle. Whenever Psych used the whistle, I believe it takes 10% longer to heal. Oh boy. Yeah, this is, I mean, both Cyphers are close, but the Clerk can just keep locking them off. AI win rate prediction, zero escape, 93% chance. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, um, yep. <laughs> Yep, a 6% chance, dude. Can they make this, like, the, I guess it's more 7 if you round up. A 7% chance that the AI is predicting here for them to uh, to get this. But the thing is, she has Blink, and it's almost back up. That's why she didn't trade stop, because she just didn't need to. She can just Blink to secure this down. If she wants to. Doesn't need to. The airplane's actually doing a good kite. I can't even lie. Oh, pallet mind game. Nope, bring it back up. Canceled his freaking jetpack. Dang, dude. Dang. And Psych could not finish that Cypher. If he was able to get away, she could have been able to finish that Cypher. And then we would have had a Cypher. Um, maybe could have got the... Wait, she finished it! No way. No way, right? No way. There's no way Charles gets up and finishes the last Cypher. Oh, but the blink! She misses the blink! But she's being recorded. Pallet mind game? Nope, it's not enough. She goes back for Charles. Charles can't make it up. No, that's it. That's it. That's 4K. That's 4K. Yeah, Charles is now going to self-heal. But now, if, if Psych, the thing is, what Psych needed to do there was to pallet mind game, get a pallet stun, um, and kite it out. So, uh, so what, what is a magi magician, bro? Uh, I keep wanting to say magician. So Charles would have been able to uh, to pop the cipher or something. But yeah, that is going to be it. She records. Oh, pallet, pallet mind game. But she swings it back up and see ya. All right, that's it. That is it. Good work from the clerk. Okay, here we go. On to round two, second half. Uh, they're banning Axe Boy. Look at Axe Boy's portrait. He doesn't fit in it. Only the top of his head fits in it. That's so funny, dude. Oh my gosh. All right, Magician, Seer, Acrobat, Mercenary. And we see, this is, yeah, this is on Hospital again. We see uh, Priestess, Anti, Charles, Batter. Lots of Batter bands from this region. Interesting. I guess they really don't like uh, fighting Batter. That is interesting. But they'd rather fight an Opera Singer than an Axe Boy. That's crazy. That's actually pretty crazy. But yeah, um, Geisha? On on Hospital? I feel like Geisha kind of gets memed on Hospital with like ruins and whatnot. This is a choice. This is an interesting choice. I wonder how well this Geisha is going to do. They need a 4K to catch up. As for the spawns, this is pretty standard stuff. Yeah. Mike's in a good area. Mercenary's out in the open because you don't want to chase Mercenary. Seer and Hospital provide support. And then they want Magician to take the kite most likely. All right, here we go. Round two, second half, it's Geisha time. Rocking Blink, the detention trump card, obviously, standard stuff, and is opting to chase the Magician. This is a very good spawn uh, set for the survivors, because where if she spawned in either corner, she was chasing either Acrobat or Magician, the two characters they wanted to take the kite. Um, he is obviously going to go into, oh, she followed the trail. Okay, that's, that's the thing about Magician. The thing about Magician is you can just follow the trail. You can literally just follow the trail. Does take a hit there, wow. Uh, didn't even really use any pallets or anything. Kind of just, kind of just running around, looping hospital a little bit here. Um, and we do see the magician is running knee jerk reflex here. Uh, Seer also has knee jerk, and Mike has flywheel, and then of course uh, Merc with tide. Everybody with borrowed time. Wand, wand, trying to be sneaky with it. Trying to be. Oh, but she knew. She knew he tried to be sneaky with it, but not sneaky enough. Oh my gosh, and he's out of wands. That was. All things considered, that was not a good kite. He used up all his resources and just died. And he's dying on a cypher. That was honestly not that great of a kite. 
I can't even lie. He didn't use like any pallets or anything. No pallet mind games, nothing. He just kind of ran around and was spamming wands. That was not great. I hate to say it. That was not very good. Didn't force out blink or anything. Mercenary does elbow pad. Get away to avoid a hit. But he doesn't want to take the hit. He has to stall it out. Geisha could just kind of force him away. Oh. He hits him. Now he's forced to get the rescue. Um, that's probably fine. It's a little blurry on the stream, but that, that's probably a fine. Um, now the thing is what Magician has to do here with zero resources is he has to try to force out Blink. And, oh, the Owl? Okay. Palette Mind Game, Palette Mind Game. She's gonna break it, okay. He has to try and force out Blink here. He has to try and force out Blink. Okay. He drops down. Is that drop down hit? It is not, it is not. Cancel dash, cancel dash, cancel dash. Nice, cancel dash while vaulting, but... Knee jerk? Blink, he forced out Blink. That's, he did his job, he forced out Blink. That's what he needed to do. Okay, that was a decent redemption. That was a decent redemption. The thing is, without Blink, he was getting that. He was getting behind that pallet. He was getting behind that pallet, 100%. But think that, why was he so... Oh, that's basement. That is basement, yup. Tis basement. Alrighty. Um, they should probably just sell. They, they have the lead. They got a 4K last round. They can sell here for free. Let's see here. Yeah, they're just they're just feeding tinnitus, and that's it. Now she sees Jimmy, the mercenary. Kind of lost a little bit. Yeah, a little bit lost. Probably not wanting to chase the mercenary, but has to... What are we... Hello? Okay, the hiding it out is actually doing really well. Um, somebody, I think it was the... Uh, I think it was the acrobat was feeding tinnitus really well there. And she's still being forced to chase the mercenary. The ciphers are a little bit behind, though. She can, she can definitely push here. She can definitely push. Oh. Oh, that was beautiful. That was actually a really good transition. The tinnitus feeding, the transition, and then finishing the cipher. That was really good work from the team. And Acrobat still has all his resources. Let's see here. He bombs. Beautiful. Yep, the thing is, what you do there is you don't bomb first. You wait for Geisha to commit. The thing, the thing about Geisha is whoever commits first loses, basically. Since she used her dash, Acrobat used his ability, and then she lost. That's that's why he won there. That's why he won. And the thing is, if Acrobat goes first, then... Um, good flywheel, good flywheel. But... Uh, see, he goes first. Now Geisha's more at an advantage here, but he can also cancel dash, so... But now, she's going to get a hit here. Yep, still, still gets the hit, though. A little bit delayed, but still gets the hit because it's still a pallet, of course. But yeah, that's what I mean. Whoever commits first loses. And obviously, sometimes you have to commit first. Otherwise, you're just going to take a hit anyway. But um, you can at least, like, you know, use your ability, force them to use ability, stuff like that. Let's see here. Oh, I thought she swung. What the heck? Okay, one more elbow pad for the mercenary. The ciphers are climbing, though. She does hit the mercenary. But yeah, the ciphers are climbing. She, he was forced off his cipher. Um, last cipher is at 72, and they are opting to heal up, so she keeps getting kind of lost, though. Like, th 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 this mercenary is, like, she really doesn't want to chase the mercenary for some reason. This is very weird. And, like, I don't, I don't, I just don't know about the geisha on this map pick. I feel like she's not that good on this map, and then, that's drop down hit. Yeah, that is drop down hit. I knew that was drop down hit. You maybe should not have sneaked there. Like, uh, where else were you going to go? Like, it was pretty obvious. I don't think sneaking there was very good. And yep, mercenary nerf doesn't go as far. And we're opting to chair back toward the cypher. That's good. Because you know that's where they want to head. They have a cypher at 72. They'd rather go for that cypher as opposed to starting up a new one. They can start up a new one, which is what they should do. But now Geisha knows where you are. Shneem, fly all the way over there. But they're all healed up. Mike still has some bombs. Flywheel's recharging. All right, Joker Persona 5 kind of doing... Oh, and they just rescue. They get the backdoor rescue. Okay. Shneum, yep, like I said, whoever commits first loses. Whoever commits first loses. Uh, but thing is, Geisha can't just steal on the other side of the pallet, so she kind of has to commit. Uh, but yeah, Acrobat is pretty good against Geisha. He, he's pretty good against Geisha, and now they just keep healing for safety. They just keep healing, resetting safety, and we got a pallet here again. I feel like he takes a hit here. He is running out of bombs. Nice, nice, okay. Ooh, ooh. I, th I thought he was about to get Terror Shock there. My goodness. All right, Flywheel's back up, but I think he's out of bombs. I don't think he has any more bombs. So, this is this is just a draw. The pallet's on. This is a draw. This is a draw. Yep, they're back on the Cypher, too. Unless she teleports to it. Does she teleport? She's thinking about it. She's thinking about it. She is teleporting. She's teleporting. Geisha with the extremely fast teleport animation. Fastest teleport animation in the game. Does not give you much time to react. Very scary stuff, but it's, it's the Mercenary again. Oh, it's the Mercenary again. 
Yeah, yeah. Looks like looks like the game is even predicting that the tie is a uh, the, the the most likely uh, most likely outcome here. Because again, they're starting they're starting up a new cipher and they're all healed and it's mercenary too. <laughs> the backwards vault is so funny, dude. I'm never gonna not laugh at the backwards vault. Such a goofy thing, dude. Such such a goofy thing. Yep, good cancel the dash. That was really good. Really good dash cancel. Kind of pallet spamming here, just guarding yourself behind these pallets, canceling her dash. Pallet mind game. He vaults and she swings. Ooh, she lost the mind game there. And uh, no longer has a butterfly to cancel dashes. He's gonna go pick it up. Pick it up. Nope. Nope. Okay, he doesn't need to. Yo, Nagito with the mind games. Very lore accurate. But thing is, oh, that kite and now the cipher is at 63. And they, and I want to prime. They have one prime. They just pop. They should pop here. They should just pop. Right? Oh no, she's gonna wait, wait for hit, then pop. I guess you're in a bad area. That's the bad thing. This cipher isn't a bad area. Um, yeah. See, Ear can just farm owls here. He can farm owl until yeah, force the hit. Yep. That's the thing. Sometimes you can like wait for stuff, but when it's a seer, you don't want to wait because he can just farm owls there. These three have been doing really good. I can't even lie. The magician kite was kind of subpar, but the rest of the team has been doing really well here. They've been doing really well. This is looking really bad for a. Uh, this is looking really bad for Shibata. And he does die. Oh, oh. Waits for the flywheel, though. That was good. That was good. It's still a draw, though. Still a draw. Tell wait, teleport is up. Teleport is up. Hold on. No, it's not. It's not. They don't make that. They don't. Right? No! They predict the teleport! Nobody's even there! They both predicted? No way. But what? Why are they pushing for the three? Am I stupid? I feel like they don't need to. Uh. No, I f no. T they already have the lead. Why are they pushing for this? He gets the chair hit. But like, there's no door open. You really think Aqua can kite all the way over there? He doesn't have any resources. I don't understand. Why don't they just take their draw? Why don't they just? He's still dead. He's still dead? I, don't, I actually don't know. I have no idea. I guess they really wanted to push for more for some reason. I, I don't understand why, though. I actually don't understand why. There's their draw. It would have been the same result. I, I know Geisha teleports fast, but you had a mercenary. Just have the mercenary body block the 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 freaking um, seer, and then you're fine. Yeah, I don't know what was up with that. That was kind of weird. All right, now we're on to round three, first half. We've got cheerleader, aeroplanist, mercenary, and acrobat going up against somebody unknown at the current time. They ban Axeboy and uh, Sangria, makes sense. And priestess, anti, embalmer, prospector ban, pretty standard stuff, yep. Now, who is the hunter, though? It's on Moonlit, so who are we going to see? We could see Geisha again. We could see Wax Artist. We could see we. Oh, it's Geisha. All right, it's Geisha. Geisha is here once more. And the spawns are pretty standard. Mercus Cypher Bridge, Cheerlin and two-story, uh, Charles at first stop, and uh, Acrobat at four stop. Yep, these are very good spawns. These are like the most standard uh, Moonlit spawns that you want. Here we go. Akudog is going, our team Akudog, our Shibata here, is going to need uh, a 4K to catch up, and they're opting to chase the Acrobat at four stop. This character is infamous for being very, very good at this place because you see that little trail right there? You see that? He messed up. Never mind. He messed up. He messed up. He messed up. Man, the one time. Oh, man, the cheerleader almost helped him there. Okay, so typically he's able to jump over that, but they messed up. <laughs> they messed up. They just messed up. If cheerleader actually had that cheer a little bit sooner, he he could have been able to get that jump. Um, but I think Gage is still at dash, so this is actually looking much better this time. Now I have to tie kite over here. He could have looped that four stop pretty well with the help of the cheerleader, but um, unfortunately it messed up the first bomb and took the first hit, which is going to matter a whole lot when it comes to this. Cannot dash, cannot dash. They're this is really good Geisha counterplay. Like they're just moonwalking constantly. That's very good. That is very good stuff. Like con constantly. The sec they're spamming, bro. The second they can cancel dash, they're canceling dash. That hits, wow. That is a lingering hitbox. My goodness, dude. That is one lingering hitbox. We do see that everybody is running knee jerk and borrowed time, except for the mercenary who has tied, of course. So pretty standard stuff again. No flywheel on the acrobat this time. Very interesting, but uh, almost almost three cipher kite. So it wasn't that bad, all things considered. It still is an acrobat. Um, now let's see here. What the heck is that effect? What is that? You see that? Why are there like tentacles on the cipher? What is that? Is that like an accessory or something? Am I missing something? That's weird. I don't think I've seen that before. Um, 
no no double tied on the uh the charles but again the the t team as is um oh my gosh why would you blink there why would you blink there what i mean she wants the double down wants to get the mercenary down but still what i don't know why you blink there now you have no trait and cheerleader is doing her cheerleader thing you have to get this acrobat down you have to get this acrobat down before he reaches 28. If he reaches 28, he gets revive. Oh, no, cheerleader stopped cheering. Never mind. Nope, she's on Cypher. Oh, reset the cooldown. Beautiful. Cheerleader gaming. Cheerleader gaming, dude. Mind, mind game, mind game. This, I hate this area as Hunter, bro. Like, I'm so bad as a survivor, and I'm terrible at a Hunter. Like, it's just, it's all mind games with this. And I, I feel like I just lose the mind game all the time. But, you know, that just comes with experience. All right, let's see. Mike Gaming, here we go. Joker Persona 5. She does not. Oh, she actually does step in the firebomb. That's unfortunate. She tried to sidestep it, but unfortunately does uh, step right in there. Merc, Merc does self-heal. Um, but again, this this uh, this acrobat is still doing well. He's dead. Never mind, he uses the bomb. He uses the bomb. And now he just kind of circles around this area. Good, good. Good vault, good vault. Canceled it. Canceled because she's not a full prez. If she was a full prez, she was making that. She got that hit. Because for those who don't know, Geisha, Geisha's speed increase when she dashes. Dang! Oh, gets the hit finally. My goodness. Yeah, Ge Geisha's speed increases when she dashes at full presence by a, a lot. It, like, it significantly goes up a lot. It's, like, really hard to, like, predict. Because um, she's basically on top of you by the time she dashes. It's scary, dude. It's very fast. It is very, very fast. And now this Geisha is a full presence, but that's the second, uh... That's the second chair. This is going to... This could be a three-person escape. The hover, beautiful, okay. Uh, didn't get as much distance, honestly. Did not get that, that much distance, but... Goes for the hit. What?! Okay, it's, it's fine, it's still fine. Wait, is it? Wait, that's a game changer! That's a huge game changer! It's not... Wait, what? Oh, okay. What is happening? Bro, that Terror Shock changed the game! Oh my gosh. No, they pop. They just pop. They already have the lead. Oh my gosh, they somehow managed that. Geisha's hitbox is trash. Bro. It didn't change the game. She got the Terror Shock and... Oh my gosh, and now she's on the aeroplane is... No. Oh my, Dash is right past her! I... Uh, the, da the Dash cancel. Tight, 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 tight. Bro, it's a one escape. Oh no! He's going up here. He goes down. Oh my. Oh my. Aeroplane, this is broken. Oh my gosh. Blink, just, just. Oh. oh. Ah! <laughs> no. She hits the mercenary. But Acrobat is stuck. He's stuck. He has no fly. He has nothing. He's stuck. He's stuck. He, she, he's. <coughs> no. No. Oh no. Oh no. How? 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 That's such a tragedy, dude. How? How does that happen? How? Huh. Oh my gosh. How does that happen? How does that actually happen? Oh my gosh. I thought she, when she got that terror shock, I thought she was 3K'ing. And she got four escaped. Ah. Oh. I oh my gosh that was a game that was a game well everybody that was one of the craziest ends to a set I think I've ever watched that was insane that was actually insane they didn't even do a round three second half they just gave him a win because yep there's no way they're coming back from that that was crazy oh my gosh anyway we're gonna check out more Koa games for the rest of this week dude I'm, I'm super excited to check out more Koa games it's it's good stuff dude it's good stuff good content I love it anyways I'm gonna get the heck out of here thanks so much for watching everybody I'll see you all later Bye-bye.